doing today here I am in Toronto specifically Etobicoke and I'm here to pay tribute and take a look at the grave of Jeff Healy legendary blues guitarist one of the most famous Canadians I know of I love Jeff Healy uh, if you're watching this you probably do too if you don't know Jeff Healy I'm gonna tell you who he was now you probably the way most people became, uh, the way most people found out about Jeff Healy was through Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze. He played Cody. He was the uh, the kid in the bar playing guitar, the blind guitarist. That's Jeff Healy. And I think a lot of people, that's where they first discovered him, because he's playing his own music in the movie, and. He's got a fairly significant role. If you're from Toronto, if you're from Canada, it was right around the same time he released Angel Eyes, which is probably one of his biggest songs. And uh, it was, I think, believe he was recording the album, See the Light, that that's from, around the same time that he was in uh, Roadhouse. Sorry, I'm just doing this all from memory, because I'm, I'm just trying to remember like how I heard of him, because I don't really remember I mean, it was a while ago, and I remember seeing Roadhouse on VHS and thinking, wow, that's really cool. But I don't know if I had already seen him on Much Music, which is like Canada's version of MTV, because they played Angel Eyes all the time. And he became very famous. And then as I got older, and I was able to go to bars, he was playing, he played at a lot of blues bars around Toronto. And there's one called the Bird's Nest above Chicago's Diner on Queen Street. And uh, we used to go to Chicago's Diner when we were really young and maybe even a little too young to be going. But he was playing upstairs a lot. So I got to see him there. He came into a place I worked at once. Really, really sweet gentleman. Just a, the nicest man. Always, always. I think everybody that's from Toronto probably, when Jeff was alive, had or has a Jeff Healy story. They met him or saw him. He was, he was everywhere. And yeah, I mean, he was blind since the age of one. Uh, retinoblastoma, I believe it's called, which is cancer of the eyes. And then sadly, he died of a different kind of cancer at the age of 41. Um, far too young, far too young. And supremely talented. He had that um, style of playing on his lap. And uh, so he could have better control of, with the fretting and then pulling on the strings. Really incredible way of playing guitar. And distinct sound. Uh, actually, I, there's a lot I know about him, but I was thinking I was gonna have to maybe do some voiceover. Well, I will a little bit to get more specifics, but he really loved jazz too. Really into jazz. He had a huge jazz collection of music that he used to play on the U of T record, station, uh, record radio station. Really just a, a student of music he knew. He's so, so supremely talented. At nine years old, he was on a show called, a Canadian kids show called Cucumber. I don't remember the show. John Candy was on it too, but I was reading about it and I can't find any clips from him on it. There's 
clips of John Candy on it, but he was at nine years old. And at 15, he formed his first band. But I'm here at Park Lawn Cemetery in Etobicoke. I'm trying to find his grave. It's never as easy as I think it's going to be. And even if you go to find a grave, like I've said before, they can give you the section, they can give you the coordinates, but it doesn't always mean that you're necessarily going to get right to the to the grave. So I've got the section, I've got the number. Um, we can take a look, it's a big cemetery, but I know I'm in the right section right now. So let's try to find Jeff Healy's grave, okay? Should be right around here somewhere. And then I'm gonna take you somewhere really cool to do with Jeff Healy right afterwards. Okay, let's take a look. I think if I've done my counting correctly, Jeff would be along here or along here. It's a little difficult to, to tell. 555, five, five. that's 5550 five, right over there. So I'm counting up. Take a look. With the Jeff Healy Band, Jeff recorded five studio albums, and in addition to countless recording sessions as a guitarist, trumpet player, singer, and producer, Jeff also recorded three albums of the traditional American jazz that he loves so much. Just prior to his death, Jeff put the finishing touches on his award-winning album, Mess of Blues, which was his first rock blues album in nine years, and was released after his death. A favorite story I heard about Jeff was when the Jeff Healy Band played in Vancouver for Expo 86, they showed up for a gig and found out that they weren't booked, that the club had no idea who they were, but they managed to squeeze him into a matinee show. So Jeff also found out B.B. King, his idol, was playing that night. So he parked himself outside of B.B.'s dressing room and B.B. heard him, came out and then had an impromptu jam with him and the rest of his band. And that formed a really long friendship with B.B. King. Jeff sat in and performed with many different artists. Here he is with Stevie Ray Vaughan, another one of his idols. And at one time when the Rolling Stones played a secret show in Toronto, the Jeff Healy Band opened for the Stones. I think by the uh, sheer amount of flowers, uh, one grave right over here, I'm almost as off by a row by one. But this cemetery is very big, very beautiful, and there's a lot of flowers and a lot of graves, really well tended to and taken care of. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be Jeff Healy's grave just by the amount of uh, things that are left here. Wow, here it is. There we are. I'm assuming there's going to be some guitar picks. There's a guitar pick, some buttons, lots of flowers. Chimes. And it reads Healy, Jeff. I believe his first name was, I think, Norman? Norman Jeffrey Healy. A man of faith in God, March 25th, 1966 to March 2nd, 2008. Loving husband of Christy Hall. Dear father of Rachel and Derek. With a guitar on it there trumpet he was an accomplished trumpet player as well and of course records right here you see them right there he had a huge collection of 78 uh 78 records a huge collection just to add to the collection of rocks that are there already I think if you can see here, there's a little electric guitar there left for Jeff. There's probably a few other things underneath all the leaves here. Yeah, an elf, candles. Give a nice little clean off here so people can leave more stuff in the future. They want to. Unfortunately, you can't control leaves that are going to build up. 
especially underneath a big tree like this, when the leaves are almost completely gone now, beginning of November. If you're in Toronto, from Toronto, or you're visiting Toronto anytime soon, uh, by the way, get ready. It gets cold December to March if you're coming to visit. Uh, but it's a beautiful city. It's my city. I love this town. And uh, so did Jeff. Jeff had um, two bars. Well, he had Healy's, which was just off of Queen Street. Again, uh, Queen and Bathurst been there a few times it's it's now something else it's not a bar anymore and then he also had Jeff Healy's Roadhouse named after of course the movie Roadhouse which was over on Blue Jay Way named after our baseball team here in Toronto the Toronto Blue Jays uh, yeah he didn't own or manage uh, Jeff Healy's Roadhouse but he played there a lot But yes, if you sorry, I was saying, if you're looking for Jeff Healy's grave in Park Lawn, it's section Y. So basically, if you're coming in off of Bloor, drive all the way to, off of Bloor Street, come all the way to the back, and the sections are well marked. You'll find section Y, and Jeff's right near the, near the back of the cemetery. As you can see, this house is right there, just at the corner in section Y, at the back of it. So not, not too difficult to find after, once you know where exactly where he is wasn't too wasn't too difficult so I was thinking I could take you to uh, places like his old bar which you can still see the outside of or there's a house where he had a studio in the basement but then I heard about another thing to do with Jeff Healy here in this area and I thought well that's really cool and I've never seen it and I've heard I've heard about stuff like this but I've never I didn't know one existed as a tribute to Jeff Healy. So I want to see it. I hope it's open because of COVID. It's outdoors, so I think it should be, but never know. Uh, so we're going to go over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Get in my car and we'll drive. Okay. So if you look here, there's a sign here in the cemetery for about coyotes. Out by the Rouge River in Scarborough, I've seen coyotes. I didn't know they were in this area of Toronto too. We, we've definitely got a raccoon issue here in Toronto. Toronto should be nicknamed Raccoon City. Uh, but coyotes are getting more and more uh, uh, prominent here. They've seen a lot. I haven't, I didn't really, I guess the Humber River's near here, so it makes sense. And I've seen a lot of them when I'm in LA, in, uh, especially in the Hollywood Hills driving around at night, you see a lot of them and they're always like limping, or staggering, like that and, and skinny and malnourished and it just breaks my heart the ones I've seen here do, do not appear to be the same the ones I've seen out in Scarborough but it's just uh, they're they're pretty timid the ones I've seen here and in Hollywood like they run away but that, that I guess you know be careful be aware of your surroundings I saw a deer the other night in in the in mid midtown Toronto so yeah Wow, coyotes out here. Yeah, this is a park not too far from where uh, Jeff grew up. With Jeff, I'm not now. It said that Jeff uh, played as a child in a park near here, and with his kids. Now I'm not sure if this is the same park, but I know he grew up in this area and he lived in this area. So I'm thinking maybe this is the same park. I wasn't able to clarify if this is the exact park that he played in as a child, but. It was renamed Jeff Healy Park in 2011. And what's really cool is what's over here. This is what I came to see. I'm gonna show you right now. Right here, there's a bunch of musical instruments that are 
here in the park, for Jeff Healy Park. I'm not sure what these are. I, I'm, that's what I thought, that makes sense. Supposed to be just can't get enough by Depeche Mode. I think uh, it's a little off. Wait, let's try it again. I don't know any Jeff Healy songs to play with one hand on an instrument I've never played before, but. Wait. A little off. <laughs> just a bit. Wow. there's houses all around here and they have uh, had noise complaints about these instruments uh, so there's houses all around uh, the neighbors like the park they like the the dedication of the park to Jeff Healy and the instruments but they said that of course at night parks are overtaken by teenagers usually especially in the summer times and it can get loud um, but the instruments are still here so I guess they kind of just learned to live with it or maybe it's just they have people patrolling the park to make sure they're not as loud at night anymore. But it's great that they're still here for for kids and, well, for me and for anyone who wants to come out here. Delroy Drive in Etobicoke, Toronto. And this one's missing. A... We got some more things here. Really cool. the only song I know <laughs> right now. And there seems to be something here. Jeff Healy Playground Rejuvenation. Craft Canada. Slate Music. Pulse and Pure Entertainment. Andy Kim. Christmas show. Very cool. So the Playground Rejuvenation will be here. Really nice. It's a great little park. I mean, can't do a lot of kite flying. I wouldn't recommend that if you're into kite flying. Definitely not, but nice little hill, uh, some tennis courts up there, a baseball diamond, small. There's a ton of parks in Toronto and uh, never been to this one. Glad I came. There's those instruments right there. So that's my visit to uh, Jeff Healy's grave and Jeff Healy's park right here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now, something I've been planning to do for a while, I'm glad I got around to doing it. Uh, if you're a fan of blues music, you know Jeff Healy. If you're a fan of music, you should know Jeff Healy. Talented, talented guy, super talented. And taken from us far, far too soon. Hope you're having a great day. Peace to you and peace out.